Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I wanted to talk about sprucing up your space without buying anything. Because let's be honest, all of us can get a bit bored with a room, a space, our entire apartment, our home, but the vast majority of us can't just, you know, shell out to get new furniture or decorations or whatever it may be. And that's not sustainable or eco-friendly anyway, so I don't suggest doing it, even if you can. So here are some steps from me to you I'm not the creator of them. I've just compiled a list of the ones that I like and I use so you can freshen up a space without spending any money. My first tip, and I'm sure you can guess it, is to declutter. I cannot recommend this enough. It doesn't matter what you want to do with your space. You need to start by going through it and getting rid of the stuff that you don't need don't want, don't even like. I have made other videos before on decluttering, but regardless of where it is in your house, step number one should be to go through and separate the stuff that you wanna keep and the things that you wanna give away. Number two is rearrange your furniture. There's nothing that just like shifting your bed or a couch or whatever it is to a different spot in the room can do. In this video, I'm gonna be using this back bedroom, our guest bedroom as an example, because this is the one that I rearranged this summer when I knew I wanted to move my office back here. I knew I needed to make some space. So this bed that's in here used to be right here actually, and there used to be a shelf and an old desk up against the window wall, and I just wanted to rearrange it. And I'm super happy with how just like clean and simple it is now now and it doesn't feel cluttered at all and just simply moving the bed was just revolutionary. <laughs> Three kind of goes along with number one but organize. Once you've decluttered go through and make sure that every single thing that you have has a home because this is just gonna make it look better, it's gonna make cleaning easier, it's gonna make finding stuff easier. The stuff that you have whether it needs to go in a closet, a drawer, a cabinet, you know, make sure it has a nice neat place to live. So number four is to pull stuff from other rooms. Go shopping in your house. It's a lot of fun. There could be something in another room that you're not too crazy about in that room, but it really just like livens up the space in the room you're trying to spruce up. So the bed frame in here is actually our old bed frame. One of our first like Christmas or Michael's birthday together, I got him an upgrade from a queen size bed to a king size bed and I made him the bed frame for a king size bed we have right now. I put our old bed frame back here and that replaced just like a plain basic metal bed frame that didn't have a headboard or anything and it really just kind of made it look like a much more adult place than just having a metal bed frame. The same goes with things like plants, rugs, decor. I'm always rearranging like the decor in the different rooms and seeing what works better in one room or the other. And that's just such an easy thing to kind of flip flop and move around. Five is to fix anything that's broken. This kind of goes along with my like minimalistic spirit, but if something's like torn or broken and you can repair it or you can take it to someone that can repair it, do that instead of throwing it away. Or even if you are going to give it away, you know, try and repair it if you can first. And if you are gonna keep it in your space, having something that, you know, isn't ripped or broken is going to look a lot better and it's gonna give it a fresh new vibe. The next tip is to clean the room or your space or whatever it is. And it's amazing what like a deep, thorough clean can do to just freshen up a space. I'm talking dusting, vacuuming, mopping, wiping down the baseboards of anything that collects dust. Like you'd be amazing. Like the cruddy things that collect on the top of the baseboards and like in the corners of your room. If things are dusted, if like mirrors and windows are cleaned, sheets and other different sort of like fabric things are washed, couches are vacuumed off. And my last tip is to find things. A lot of people enjoy going out and driving through their neighborhood and finding furniture items or whatever it may be that people leave out on their curbs for the garbage men to pick up. But it's kind of a invitation to like, hey, if anyone wants to take this before the garbage guys come, like you can have it. Craigslist is a great place. There's there's a lot of stuff for free and while there is a bunch of crap on there or stuff that you might not want, you can find some hidden gems or like I know this isn't technically free but there's a lot of very cheap stuff on there like I got my desk off of Craigslist for $25 and I could not be happier with it. And then head out into the woods or a park or whatever and try to find sticks, branches, um, flowers. Back when the bed was over here, I had a stick hanging up above the bed that had stuff hanging from it. I can't quite remember, but it was like a decorative piece and I got that stick from outside. I've also taken like sticks or branches and put them in a vase and that 
creates a cool little thing. You know, fresh flowers or dried flowers are a nice little added touch. All right, guys, I know that wasn't revolutionary or anything that was mind blowing, but sometimes it's nice to just be reminded of the things that you can do within your home that don't cost you any money if you're trying to save money or if you want to just do a quick little something. And I'm all about reusing what you already have and giving it new life. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to Femhead for more of me and give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!